welcome back. We're up to lesson 13, adding and subtracting polynomials. So here are the two things you're gonna watch me do. First, as I'm modeling, watch how I distribute a positive one into the second set of parentheses, and that is for adding, or distribute a negative one when subtracting. Then you'll see me combine like terms and ex express my final answer in standard form. So let's take a look here. I have two examples, one with adding and the other one with subtracting. Remember with adding, I'm going to distribute a positive one and with subtracting, I'm going to distribute a negative one. So let me start with distributing this positive one on the bottom. I'm just going to write the very first term where nothing changes. And here notice, actually let's make it red. I have a positive one, and I'm gonna distribute it to the second terms. So I'm gonna be super explicit here so you can actually see how I'm multiplying, how I'm distributing. So in each case, you're gonna see me distribute a one three times. So I'm gonna do one times negative four X squared plus one times negative three X plus one times negative seven. Okay, that way you can see it happening. I just wanna be really explicit. And the first terms just stay the same. Okay, so Again, all I'm doing is multiplying by a positive one, so the first term is just gonna be negative four x squared. Uh, one times negative three is negative three x. One times negative seven is negative seven. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for like terms. At this point, we're an expert, so we know what they all look like. And I like to rewrite them just so I can put them together. However, if this works where you can just see them and in your mind start recognizing, okay, I can add or subtract, go ahead. Uh, but you, if you find that you're making mistakes, go back to writing it out. All right, we're gonna start with our first set. Actually, let me color code them so you can see exactly how I'm combining the terms. All right, so I'm combining the first set. Six minus four is just two X squared. Five minus three is two X, positive two X. And two minus seven is negative five. So there we go. I can't combine any more terms. Let's just double check that we have everything correct in standard form. So this is a second degree, a first degree, and a zero degree. So this part is correct. Here's our final answer. All right, you can jot that one down in your notes. And let's go to the second one. In this case, I want you to see, I'm not gonna write everything out, but I am gonna have here's negative one. So you can see it here. And what I want you to notice is how I'm literally distributing and multiplying the negative one by each term on the inside. So now this is gonna look a little bit more compacted. My first sets of terms look the same. And now I'm just doing negative one times two, it's just negative two n squared. Negative one times negative six is positive six n, and negative one times positive eight is negative eight. All right, so there you have it. Now I'm just going to identify my like terms. So you can see my second degree terms, my first degree terms, and my zero degree terms. Okay, and this is where, for some of us, we're starting to recognize mental math. Five minus two is three, so three n squared. Four plus six is 10, 10 n, and three minus eight is negative five. All right, and just double checking, are my terms in order? So this is a second degree, a first degree, and a zero. So it is already in standard form. So I can 
stop here and this is our final answer. All right, hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Moving into the guided practice, we're gonna do the same thing again. In this first one, we're going to distribute a positive one. And the second one is subtraction, so we're distributing a negative one. So all I'm gonna start with is just rewriting And there you have it, you can see my positive one in the first example, so now I'm just gonna distribute. My first terms are the same. Uh, one times, again, it's just an invisible one, is just one x squared or x squared, uh, plus x plus two, so nothing really changes. And you'll start to see that, like when it's just a positive, these just stay the same inside, so there's no change. You can see it here. All right, let's combine well, first, let's look for our like terms. So here's our second degree terms. So highest degree, followed by our first degree, followed by our zero degree. And now we can add them up. We'll start by adding the yellows. Six plus one, even though it's, I don't see the one, just know that there is a, a one here. This is the one X. So this is six X squared. Negative two plus one is just negative one or negative one X and three plus two is five. It's in order in terms of terms, so we're done with this one. Here's our final answer. We can hit pause and jot this down. And again, what are you looking for? I distributed the positive one. You can see it right here that I accurately combined like terms. Again, you can see evidence that I'm looking for those like terms and I've expressed my final answer in standard form. And you can see that second, first, and zero degree term. So I am correct on all these parts. All right, let's go to the next one. We'll do the same thing. The first set of terms. Actually, I wanna give a lot of room here for this one. Okay, so there it is, we have our negative one. So we know the first set stays the same. And now, because I'm distributing by a negative one, the, our signs are going to change to their opposites. So where I have a positive six Y, now it's turned to a negative six Y. Where I have a positive two X to the third power, now I have a negative two X to the third power. And where I have a negative, 3x cubed, now I have a positive 3x cubed y. All right, so again, so when I'm gonna put this note here in red, just so you can see the observation, there was no change in the adding. When I'm distributing by a positive one, all those terms stayed the same. But here, when I distributed, I created their opposites. So be really careful when you're doing that part of work. All right, let's find those like terms. So I have two X to the third power Y, and here's the next one. Here's three X to the third power Y. Let's see, I have, this is my next third degree, seven X cubed. Here's the other one, and now let's go to the last one, negative six Y and another negative six Y. Okay, so again, I like having the colors with highlighters because I can see the things that I'm putting together. It makes it easier for me. So two plus three is five X to the third power Y. And just so you know, all I did was add up my yellows. Let's go to the blues next. Seven minus two is five, so plus five X third. And those were the blues. And finally, negative six minus six is actually a negative. Negative 12 Y. And those were my reds. And I, I just wanted to make it so that you visually can really see where, where all these things are. 
Okay, so let's just make sure we have everything in standard form. Um, remember, we're adding the exponents, so this is a fourth degree, three plus one. This is a third degree, and this is a first degree. So it is in order, so I do have this correct. So I have my final answer. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Hit pause and jot this down into your notes. And like always, use that criteria for success, which are all of these over here in the notes to check off. Can you see that work? Can another person, a peer, see that you've demonstrated those steps in your work? And if you're struggling with any of them, please ask for feedback. Uh, this will help you get clarity on what it is you're working on or what are the things that you want to practice a little bit further. That's it for today. I will see you in the next lesson. Be well.